Hey guys, I got the Chefman Easy Step 1.8 liter electric kettle that comes with a removable tea infuser, but I'm sure it's also going to be good for a coffee, other hot drinks, and just quickly boiling water. So let's get it open and put it to work. It comes with a user manual, a care and cleaning guide, a 20% off coupon for a Chefman air fryer. The base comes wrapped in plastic and the base itself is made of plastic and it has a space to store away the electric power cord right here and then leave it through that little window right there if you wanna keep it short. The kettle comes wrapped in styrofoam and plastic and a quick look here shows us a borosilicate glass. It has reading levels for a half liter, a liter, and 1.8 liters its maximum. We've got a stainless steel finish here and here. And here we have a plastic handle that won't get hot no matter how long you're heating up water for. And of course it's all BPA free. And you can see here that it uses just 1100 watts of electricity. Its lid here just pops on and off like that. And in order to remove the actual tea infuser here and fill it up with tea, or just remove it to boil hot water, you have to find where it says on this lid, twist off this way. And what that means is that you just gently want to twist while you pull it in that direction like this and then to put it back on you just slide it back in the opposite direction and twist in the other way simple when you place the kettle on the base you'll see that it has a 360 degree swivel that makes it great for both righties and lefties and you'll see here that it stands roughly nine and a half inches tall and measuring from the handle to the other side it's roughly nine inches wide to use this device we simply plug it in i'm going to fill it up to its maximum threshold of 1.8 liters place it on the base put on the lid and turn it on by flipping this switch you'll see that these blue led lights come on to indicate that it's on these are also going to help a lot when we want to see if the water is actually boiling. Now I've turned on my timer here and we're gonna see how long it takes to actually boil the 1.8 liters of water. In the meantime, you should know that the heating element is actually along the inside of the base of the kettle. It's on the bottom right there. And then we're also gonna see if it actually stops itself from boiling once the water is boiling or if I have to turn it off. But I do know that if you were to accidentally boil all the water out of this, it would shut off automatically because it has a boil dry capability that keeps it from ruining itself. You can see the bubbles forming at the bottom. Now they're finally starting to roll here at about two and a half minutes. So it's actually probably a little bit faster than three minutes. Let's see if it can get a rolling boil here going before that three minute mark. So not a rolling boil yet, but it is warming up and you can see that the water is actually starting to vibrate. The bubbles are coming up. Probably just give it a little more until it really gets going. Okay, so at the seven and a half minute mark, we're finally starting to get a little bit of a rolling boil here. Now keep in mind that this was cold water and if you used less water it would obviously start boiling quicker. I'm still gonna wait a little bit to see how long it takes to get a full rolling boil going for you. Okay, just over the 10 minute mark here and it looks like it's starting to finally get into a full rolling boil. And what I like about this is that it's nice and quiet. My daughter's sleeping in the other room. I'm glad this isn't hissing and whistling like some other kettles. I like the silence coming out of this. You can see the boil really starting to roll now. And keep in mind, this was a full pot of water. I'm actually a little bit over the maximum here so it's even more than what it's supposed to be but there you go full rolling boil at about 10 and a half minutes on a full kettle definitely at the 11 minute mark there's no doubt it's a full rolling boil and this is really interesting oh look at that it just auto shot off on its own so once it starts rolling boiling it just clicks off that's good to know at this point the handle is definitely cool it's a little warm down here but I can grab it like that I'm not gonna risk touching this I'll briefly touch it that's definitely really hot i shouldn't have done that uh, do not touch the glass if it's hot but this part right here stays nice and cool the inside of it right here this part is actually quite hot though so i would be careful with this piece right here you can see i'm touching it lightly and quickly but it's much hotter than what the handle is what's actually stayed cool to the touch. Now I'm going to risk my hand for you. I'm going to pour it out and see if the steam touches my hand. No problem. You can see that the water just pours out well away from where my hand is at. I'm not getting barely any heat from the steam coming up. And I'll let you know the whole way through too. I can pour it straight out. And if I do this right above it and I'm pouring out the whole thing, now I'm getting a little bit of feedback from steam, but nothing that feels dangerous at all. I'm going to give you a few tips and tricks on how to use this properly. But first, if there's any negatives about it, some people said they had difficulty 
difficulty removing the tea infuser. I showed you how to do it. I don't think it's very difficult. Just follow the instructions that I gave you. Also, one negative might be that you can't actually set a specific temperature on this like you can on some other kettles, but you can just send it up to the boiling temperature. And those negatives are clearly outweighed by the advantages. For example, it looks cool while it's boiling with those blue lights. It boils pretty quickly. It's gonna use less energy than other kettles. And I love that it's nice and quiet when it's boiling. And you also get a one year guarantee through Chefman, but I've read reviews about it lasting well over two years. Now just a couple quick tips on how to use this properly. Number one, don't ever reheat tea inside this that you've already heated up because that could leave behind a bronze stain. Obviously you could remove that stain with some vinegar, but just to keep it nice and clean, do not reheat already heated tea in this. And secondly, only wash it by hand with a damp cloth. Do not put this in any kind of washing machine or use any kind of cleaning substance on it.